Hey nerds, R2 here. Um, I'm just going to do a little quick mini book pickup video. Um, yeah, I, as I said in, uh, maybe said in a previous video, I'm not really buying books anymore. I don't need to buy any books for a very long time. But um, there was just a few really small pile that I found for really cheap. So um, in, a, in a couple of different various places. So I, thought I just yeah picked these up because they seem really interesting and they're adding to different... Um, uh, sections of my collection. So the first one I got is Strata by Terry Pratchett, original cover. I'm not going for a complete run of these. This is just a sci-fi. It's an unparalleled science fiction from the author of Discworld. So it, it's very short, very short. So um, I just wanted, I've read some of his books before. I've read some of the Discworld novels. I just wanted to check out some of the sci-fi. Truckers is one of my favorite. Um, uh, for, I read that as a kid. I really need to revisit that. I have the sequel, but I don't have... I think it's called Diggers. Um, but I need to get Truckers. But yeah, it's just called Strata. I don't know. I think it's... No, I'm thinking of something else. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so I got Strata. Uh, I got a Judge Dredd novel. This one is called uh, Death Mask. Or Death Masks. Uh, but Dave Stone, I have a couple of these. I haven't read any of them yet. I need to double check and see um, which one I need to read first because I'm sure there's some sort of an order. But um, I love Judge Dredd. The original 2000 AD Judge Dredd is so... like He's such a brutal character. I love his brutalness. So... And these are really these are really hard to find. I don't know if they're rare or what, but they're fucking hard to find. So whenever I see them, I just pick them up. Um, I, these were a dollar each, which is great. Everything was a dollar except for the book that I bought brand new. So which I'll show towards the end. <clears throat> now I got this. The only reason I picked this up, I got Remix. This is called Remix. It's by John Courtney Grimwood. It's William Gibson meets Quentin Tarantino, apparently. But the, I wasn't going to pick this up, but I read the synopsis. So I'm going to read you the synopsis because it is just crazy. You also have to turn the book this way to read the synopsis on the back. Um, <clears throat> okay. When Liz Alec Fabio goes missing on her way to school, her mother knows just the person to get her back. Fix Valmont, burned out DJ and crystal meth addict. Only Fix isn't just in jail facing statutory rape charges relating to Liz Alec. He's legless. Literally, since Lady Claire Fabio had fixed his cyborg limbs chopped off at his hips to stop him doing a runner. Meanwhile, aboard the Ark, Sister Aaron is collecting together two of every species to create a new Eden in deep space, while Brother Michael is even busier collecting handmaidens. Paris is under siege from the Fourth Reich, and a virus is sweeping Europe, eating all the steel in its path. What the fuck is this book about? <laughs> um... It just sounds insane. Thought I was going to sneeze. So, I don't know. Okay. Um, <laughs> then I got Unnatural Creatures. This is stories chosen by Neil Gaiman. So I don't actually know who the authors are. Ooh, it has a book mark in there. Yeah, I don't fucking know. Yeah, it's just, uh, I have a couple of Neil Gaiman books now, so this is, I thought this was a short story collection by him, so that's why I picked it up. But this is just a selection of his favourite stories of some description, so, I don't know, it might be alright. It's got one of those, uh, really interesting feeling covers. I don't know. Uh, this one sounds awesome. This is called The Quantum Thief by, uh, Hanu... Rajanami, Rajanami. I strongly apologize for pronouncing that wrong. Um, but yeah, say few de there's say few sci-fi debut of the year. Um, it's uh yeah, the Quantum Thief is a dazzling hard sci-fi novel set in the solar system of the far future. A heist novel, uh, peopled by bizarre post-humans, but powered by very human motives of betrayal, revenge, and jealousy. So, it's a hot... Oh, what's this? Some random thing that was inside there as well. 
Uh, yeah, so it's a heist novel, but hard sci-fi heist novel with like androids and shit. I don't know. Very short. It's only 300 pages. Um, yeah, seems interesting. This one's got a wicked cover. This is called Dark Future, Demon Download by Jack Yeovil. This is book one. I only picked this up because it was book one. I see, I find a lot of these weird sort of uh, fantasy, horror, sci-fi, just, I don't know, YA ones. Um, but they're not book one. So this is book one. I believe it's book one. I think I read somewhere it's book one. Yeah, book one in the Demon Download Saga. Arcane Cybergoth fiction set in a nightmare world of the near future. The earth is ravaged by catastrophic climatic changes. Society is marked by a resurgence of tribalism. The world's economic civilizations and even the laws of nature are on the brink of collapse. Introducing Sister Chantelle Julie Rat. Jewel Rat. Papal agent extraordinary. Her nubile cat suited form bellies well, belies the lethal assassin concealed within and now the beautiful cyber exorcist faces her greatest challenge from within his forest temple the immortal Nugen Seth plots the apocalyptic climax to a conspiracy older than the human race that I don't care if this is good or not look at that cover <laughs> so yeah I don't know uh, again it's, a, it's only about 250 pages so it's cool. Uh, I got a Guilty Pleasure book. This is Tales of the Slayer Volume 1. Just another Buffy the Vampire book. Uh, this is a collection of short stories. Didn't even know this was a thing. I just saw it there for a dollar, so I picked it up. And this was $2, but it was a nice hardcover. Neil Asher, uh, Praetor Moon. This is a novel of the polity, so I guess it's set in the world of Cormac and what happens in those in that universe um, yeah I don't know a lot about this Neil Asherverse but I did just complete Gridlinked um, well I didn't just complete it I read it a couple weeks ago now awesome I might do a little thoughts video on this but yeah loved it looking forward to getting the next one I actually have the next one I found the second one I think Line of the Polity I found that uh, not too long ago so I will start that one soon uh, and then I bought this one new. This one cost me $30, which I probably could have picked up a vintage paperback for the same price. But uh, I do like these uh, masterworks. I have a fucking lot of these. So I got Robert A. Heinlein Starship Troopers. I've been wanting this for a long time. Wow. At least a solid three to four weeks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a hardcover masterworks. I've got a lot of, um, of the paperback ones but yeah this is cool this was 30 bucks but I just I was never gonna find the the vintage paperback in the wild so stuff it I bought it new <laughs> it's gonna be the next one I read after the current one I'm reading what am I reading now uh, Ender's Game I'm about two-thirds of the way through Ender's Game which is amazing so yeah this is cool Really wanted to read this ever since I found out that it was a Heinlein, and um, I had no idea that the movie was based on obviously this. So yeah, but that that's it. A couple, uh, just a couple to sort of keep me going for a little while because I'm always going to buy books, but I'm just not going to buy like I did, <laughs> Cra fuck crazily like I have been because I have enough. So yeah. Let me know in the comment section down below if you've read any of these, if uh, I need to be checking out any of these before I read the others, but I'm definitely going to read Starship Troopers very, very soon. Uh, even though it is the spooky month, I am going to uh, still read a few horrors, but uh, I just, I really want to read that. Uh, Starship Troopers. I am also reading The Dig at the moment. I sort of put that on the back burner because it's... I, um, I'm just hooked with Ender's Game at the moment, so I really need to get back back to the dig. Um, because I was very much enjoying it, but I just got distracted with Ender's Game. So I might, uh, I'll finish those two, and then I will do Starship Troopers, and then I'll do my horror books over there. But um, <coughs> until the next one, guys, stay safe, stay happy, uh, enjoy what you're reading, whatever it is. 
And um, yeah, just be good.